Hello and welcome to Saturday afternoon. We are checking in to see what is new for the second day of the Showdown series. Um, yesterday we started off with uh, Bobby Clark versus Manuel Akanji in a Liverpool versus Manchester City game, which is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. And today, assuming it works in the same way that I think it will, then we will have another showdown for some sort of match around Europe, or to be to be honest, MLS or Saudi League, um, coming in today. But we'll have a look, see what else, what else we've got. We are near to an eighty-four by five, and then we are close to the end of the season. Um, oh, we have another watch thing. Watch on the 10th of March, which is tomorrow, tomorrow, and then the 16th, which is a week today, and then the 23rd and the 24th, which is obviously the other weekend after. So you just have to watch games to get random packs. And then this is an MLS style trophy and TIFO kind of thing. And a premium gold pack. For scoring goals with a player from the MLS to obtain a badge and then win three with the things equipped. Okay, so it's an aesthetic thing which is fairly useless, but we'll get us a couple we'll get us a couple of packs, so why not? Um what else do we have? Daily play is obviously new and refreshed for today. Completionist is there. NWS NWSL countdown is there again we have to play two matches with um the american ladies league players in our team which is fine another completion is set for there which will give us another thousand xp and a, another player this time fleming then we have a ramadan ramadan kareem complete these objectives to earn untradeable rewards score three goals to earn a badge assist three goals to earn a tifo play three to earn a big tifo and then win three to get that. And then overall, oh, there's no pack thing or anything, or XP thing overall. It's just get those objects. So that will be done just as a matter of course. Um, we have weekly objectives there, and we'll probably have nothing in milestones. Correct. So what do we have? Do we have an evolution today? Yeah, I would say no if I was if I were a betting man, but let's have a look. Oh, we do. Oh, and I'm wrong. I'm very wrong. So this is two icon upgrades. And then that's already there. So this is... Okay, so you can... I'm not going to have anybody eligible, am I? Only Balak. My word. Okay, so I can upgrade Balak to an 89... So it's a 92 max icon with various stats. Let's see which, because I've got quite more icons than I normally have. So Cruyff misses out, Rana Jim misses out, Cafu is alone, so can't. Pushkas is too quick, too much dribbling. Charlton, too quick, too much dribbling. Maldini, too much defending. Eusebio, too much pace and dribbling. Nesta is too much defending, not base icon. Shevchenko, not a base, not... Okay. Berezi, too much. Oh, my word. I don't even know who... Who on earth would actually be eligible for this? Mateus, too much pace, too much defending. So even the good defenders have too much defending. The attackers have too much pace and dribbling. So it's aimed at the lower rated icons. So that's why it's boosting a lower rated icon up into a higher rated icon. Which is fine. What does it actually do overall? It gives press proven, incisive pass and quick step. Ah, uh, two play styles, one play style plus. Okay. Weak foot boost as well. Shooting, dribbling, defending, physical. Pace, shooting, passing, defending, physical. Pace, passing, dribbling. It's a nice boost, but 
Will I do it for a ballot for 100,000? I will not. But it's there, which is a good thing. Um, Legends of the Pitch is a suitable term as an icon evolution. That makes sense, but it's not going to tempt me. Um, but yeah, as we saw from that, there will be other people. There will be other players, other lower rated um, ev um, icons that do fit into it. Probably better than the ones that I have, because I, um, yeah. So let's see what else we have. There is nothing exciting going on there. There are some big old packs going on. First half foundation. On Winter Wild. There's all sorts of packs guaranteeing various types of players. 750,000 coins. It's ridiculous. Provisions. Packs for you. Classic pack. So we got a preview pack. Actually coincides with the 6pm content for once. I don't know who this is, but he's not going to be worthwhile for the pack. And it's cool air. Anybody else below that's going to make it actually worthwhile? No. That's not a 7,500 pack. So, SPCs, let's go into there and see what we've got hiding in there today. Um, let's have a look. So, players, Tadevo, Tiedemans, Chilwell, oh, Chilwell, and a showdown Ben Chilwell from the Premier League matchup between Chelsea and Newcastle. Okay, I'm surprised it's another Premier League one. Which Newcastle player are they going to pick? There are a lot of choices. You could go obvious and go Gamares or Isaac. Um, so Maximan's left. He was their go-to one for Newcastle. Mm, they might do Almer on to be honest. I know, is he, is he gone, isn't he? Left back, left mid, left wing back as well. I mean, he's got very good attacking positioning for a full back. That's a solid card. Needs an anchor. I reckon an anchor on him would be good. He's got incisive pass. Long ball pass. Intercept block and jockey as well as whip pass and dead ball. That makes sense. Traveller as well to help with the passes. But intercept block and jockey are good for a card like that. What is he going to cost as a left back? 83.86 is pretty good. Prime mixed jumbo premium. That's not bad back. Considering the 83 is pretty much is pretty much waste. As in junk that you'll have in your squad already. But the 8 so it's basically just an 86 rated squad for him. For an 88 rated card that could go to Awira Isaac as well. For an 86 that could easily go to a 90. That's pretty good. And then we have Isaac as the second card. Four star, five star. Obviously a kind of crouch type build. He's six foot four. He's a bit lanky. He's a bit leggy. Left wing on him as well this time. He has 90 rated stats where you would kind of want it. Jumping on a six foot four frame does make him pretty good in the air. Ball control and dribbling as well as quite a few shooting stats as well as 90. He has Power Shot Plus, which I really wouldn't associate with him, but there we go. Chip Shot, Rapid Plus, Quick Step, Flare, First Touch, and Traveller. Fairly normal playstyles and playstyle plus. I don't know what I'd put on him as a card. Maybe a Hawk? Maybe an Engine? Yeah, those would be my first two considerations. Which probably won't surprise most people, but yeah, he's an option. What is he, As a striker, surely he's going to be more expensive. 85, 86, and then 83, 86. That's not bad, and that's easily doable as well. We might do both of those as well. Um, I went ahead and bit the bullet and did both of these, Bobby Clark and Akanji, after doing a whole load of upgrades and... Um, things yesterday so yeah that we will see whether that pays off so ooh, 
Okay, so this has been there for a while. 87 plus base Winter Wildcards Team of the Year icons. This is new. 85 plus. So it's a TB. I don't even know what TB is. Hmm, not sure. Centurions Trophy Titans, or whatever that thing was. Triple triple threat? No, triple... I can't even remember. FC Pro Live, um, Thunderstock, Radioactive. All of these, basically, all the different promos, 85+. plus. So what's this going to be, an 84-rated squad or an 85-rated squad? 84 with 285. So we're going to do this now. We might as well do this. Um, with 285s. We don't have 85s, so we're going to go 86s. And then we can put 83s in. And probably lower. We've got a whole load of 83s, I think. Can we put... How many 82s can we get away with including? There's our 81 limit. So we'll stack these up and then I'm assuming the 84 by 5 is back in again. So we'll have a look at that as well and open one of those. Oh, that's not an 84. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Where's 84s I don't want? Put you in there there we go so we shoot up to that already so what can we do do we just do Jeru for go back down put turn on in for Torres no there we go okay we'll do that that gives us one 85 plus campaign mixed campaign upgrade we'll see what we get from that we're not going to open it right away. Oh, we've got... Oh, it's endlessly repeatable. That could be good. That could be absolutely terrible. We will probably get like six days of it as well. That could be... Ooh, that could be interesting. Um, Team of the Week pick still there. Daily Gold, Daily Silver, Daily Bronze, obviously. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. 83 by 10. Woo! So they've dropped the 84 by 5 and they brought back the 83 by 10 times 6, uh, times 3, sorry. 83 rated squad and the team of the week. I know which one I'm putting in here now because I got a new 83. We got Ramos. And then we're going to put 83s and some 82s in here and get this done straight away. 83 by 10s are going to be good. This is going to allow me to do both. Well, allow me and allow you lot to do um, both of the upgrades as well. Because they will come in nicely within range for that. We need two 82s. So we're going to use you and we're going to use Kovacic. Why not? Then we need two more 83s. So we're going to go with defensive midfielders because we don't like defensive midfielders. So, Team of the Week, 282s, rounds that off nicely. 83 by 10, completed. So, that looks like everything there. Then, Daily Showdown Challenge, which we've got as normal. Icons, Baggio, Canavaro, Jorginho, Cole, Henri Zico, Cafu, Best, Sawa, and Rijkaard, and exchanges as normal. Okay, cool. So that's everything. We have a new evolution, we have a new showdown, we have new upgrades, and we have a new mixed campaign pick, which could be, as I said, brilliant. Could be awful, but could be give some really good outcomes. Um, we're going to do this one first. Fingers crossed. It's red. I don't know if red is good or bad. It's Spanish, that's not great. It's Isco. It's definitely... Oh, it's Omo. That's not the best outcome, but it's not the worst outcome. <laughs> it's not an 85, so it's not bad. It's not a duplicate, so that's not too bad either. And we can definitely put him back into something. 
And then we can crack on with an 83 by 10 and see if this is worth it and if for anything. We obviously have a lot of specials in packs at the moment. This is going to be Foden or Grealish. It's Grealish, which means 85 is the max, which is not good unless the specials are at the back. Let's see. Do we get any specials in this or are we going... No specials. So we can refresh this and go again. That's not a problem. But yeah, I wish you got like guys better luck than me in my first selection for this. But yeah, obviously there will be several chances with that. And the upgrade pack obviously is there repeatable. And there are these tempting cards on your right hand side that are just sitting there going, I'm in a pack, but you can't pack me kind of thing. It's what it's there for, just to tease people that they're there, but they're not there. And Brentford, Brentford have just equalised against Arsenal. I think that was Johan Visser? Not sure exactly, but yeah. So we've got the mixed campaign pick, which is there. And we've got 83 by 10, which is hiding over here again somewhere. There, so... Lots of new content today. Upgrades, evolution for your hit for your icons, and then that chance to get some of those special cards hidden in packs. Obviously, I want that Messi, but I'll take a Neymar and a Mbappe, a Kane, or a Haaland as well. Okay, Johan Visser has charged down Aaron Ramsdale's clearance, so that's that is not doing Ramsdale's attempt to stake a claim as the number one goalkeeper at Arsenal any good. That is a nightmare for him but yeah we're, that's what's there today so good luck with your picks good luck with your packs and good luck with your play tonight thank you for watching subscribing and clicking on my videos um tomorrow we will know or we'll be on a way to knowing the outcome of um the Liverpool versus man city showdown aaron um manuel kanji versus bobby clark and then after that we'll have chill versus isaac and then tomorrow obviously we'll have a new showdown i'm assuming they will actually leave the premier league which would be a good thing but yeah, until then, I wish you well and I'll speak to you then. Have a good weekend and look after yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.